everyone welcome back to new content of cyber browsers so in today's video we will look into the updates of odoo 18 and we're going to discuss about the empty location in odoo inventory in the inventory app you can filter the locations list to show only the locations with zero stock and this will highlight the locations that have currently no product stored in them so let's dive into the inventory module and we just need to uh, manage with the empty location to manage with the empty location here you can see that we have an option under the configuration menu called locations so in order to get this feature first we have to enable the storage location from the configuration settings so as you just drag down under the warehouse section we can find the storage location that would allow you to track the product location in your warehouses now if you can just move on to the locations to manage with the locations and you can see that we can see all the locations that are currently available and it's filtered based on internal by default and you can just remove this location and let me filter it based on empty location so empty location is nothing but that is a location which have no products in it so you would be able to find different locations over here such as uh wh stocky busy um and here we have different locations such as uh yeah many more locations are visible over here so i'm gonna choose the location wh stock abc and as we just move on to the products you can see it does not contain any products over here now let me just move on to the product that is customized cabinet which has zero quantity in it okay now let me choose uh, the location in order to update the quantity so you can just click on new button where you can set the location so you can see that we are just going to choose the location as wh stock abc where we can just update the quantity i'm going to update the quantity of the product as 100 and later on we can just move on to the customized cabinet and you would be able to find that currently we have a stock of 100 quantity of customized cabinet in the location wh stock abc okay now let's move on to the locations again and uh let's make a filter a uh, filtration here also uh, with the empty location itself so as we just filter it based on empty location you can see we won't be able to find the location wh stock abc because currently it has got uh, a product in it now let's perform a delivery order okay so in order to perform a delivery order you can just cl click on uh, the three dots and choose new and here you can set the address i'm going to choose the address as uh, aksa foster as she is my customer and you can set the product which is customized cabinet so before setting the product we also just need to keep in mind that we have to change the source location so currently here by default it is given as w stock wh stock as the default location so actually the product contains in wh stock abc so we have to set the proper location over here and let me set the quantity over here and later on we can uh, set everything either you can just manage likewise or you can just move on to the sales module and create a sale order from here so i'll be creating a sale order directly where you can choose the same customer or you can choose any other customer from here okay so i'm gonna choose aksa foster itself uh, not ak yeah aksa foster now you can just choose your product so i'm gonna choose a product uh, that is uh uh yeah customized cabinet where you can set the quantity i'm gonna set the quantity as 100 and uh, you can find the price everything over here and later on you can just confirm the order and we can just deliver the item to the customer so as we just uh, create a delivery uh, you can see that transfer will be obviously created un under the inventory module also so you can just click on validate and we can just deliver the item to the customer so you can see we have just done with the delivery of the item to the customer and as we just move on to the product on hand you would be able to find that it has zero quantity over here okay now let's move on to the inventory module and we just need to check whether the location on um, wh stock abc is turned as an empty location or not so currently we can see that the location is filtered on the basis uh, of internal and we just need to remove that filter and let's yeah uh filter it's based on empty location so as we just filter it based on empty location you would be able to find the location wh stock abc over here so from this we can conclude that empty locations are the location that will not have any uh, products in it and yeah 
that's all for today and thank you for watching the video